If you wake up and you don't have anxiety, just honestly thank the Lord. Hey Chris, uh, I just wanted you to know, this is gonna sound insane, uh, and you probably won't even see this, but um, I used to be exactly this way. Your videos about anxiety, about the anxiety that you have waking up in a sweat and stuff like that to start the day for absolutely no reason, they resonate with me so deeply. And uh, it makes me, although I get attacked online a lot for speaking about this, for whatever reason, I guess people are really um, protective of like what they eat and what they've been taught to eat and stuff like that over the years. And I'm not even suggesting that you're eating like the wrong things, quote unquote, because I hate people that even do that. But I was, I had anxiety that was so bad that um, I would pee into a bottle uh, because I didn't want to run into my roommate in the hallway. My roommate who I had, uh, no problems with uh i would drive an hour like to have an excursion like go on a hike or something and i would start looking at the people in the parking lot and i would dream up in my head that they like had it out for me or that they were against me or that they were making fun of me and i would start crying and go home i would spend weeks and weeks at a time just in my house because i just felt like everybody hated me every time i would get online i thought that all my friends were plotting against me i would practice what i was going to say over and over and over and over again walking back and forth in my in my house to my postmate before they delivered me food um i i had such bad anxiety i had no quality of life whatsoever and i went carnivore because doctors couldn't help me I went carnivore and I'm not suggesting you do this. I'm not, I'm not one of those bros that's saying you absolutely have to do this for the rest of your life. Go carnivore. I make up conversation to strangers in public. Now I'm off of all medication. I'm a completely different person. I feel like I woke up for the first time. I have never been calm in my entire life. And I think a lot of this, and we're kind of like, science is kind of on the cusp of this, and people, some people are gonna roll their eyes, oh, she told him that diet has something to do with it. We're being poisoned by what's in our food. Even, even people that think that they're eating healthy are in still in many ways being poisoned. Things like seed oils are causing us chronic inflammation that's getting in our brain and it's making us feel insane when we don't deserve it. We weren't technically born that way. It's because of how toxic the food that we're eating these days is and the, and the lack of what we actually need. Uh, so if I could suggest anything to you, it would be try the carnivore diet, try it for, try to change your life. Just, just take the challenge, do it for two months. What's two months out of your entire life? Let me know in two months if you are a completely different person. You have to stick to it though. You have to do it the right way and you have to do it how you're supposed to. You can't cheat and then say, oh, this didn't work for me. Do the carnivore diet for two months and check back in and tell me if you have anxiety anymore. I guarantee you, you won't have it.